how you guys doing today is Lamont. Welcome to my channel. Or I'm going to say, how are you ladies doing today? It's Lamont. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I have a new video specifically for my ladies. Um, when it comes to ladies and fragrances, they go hand in hand. I sold to so many women out there from all walks of life. It could be black, white, Asian, Middle Eastern, wherever they're from, they all love fragrances. They all have preferences, you know, and I love helping them, you know, and I've seen a lot of women have bought these fragrances today. So I'm going to show um, my viewers, subscribers, whomever is watching this video, the top fragrances I've sold and what I've seen people buying this year for 2023. So these are the top fragrances. All the ladies have bought. They've loved it. It's booming. They can't get enough of it. So let's get it started. The first scent that I have today is going to be Mojave Ghost. Now, Mojave Ghost from Byredo is loved by women and men. So fellas as well can wear the scent. But I've sold this to so many women. And in the notes, it's kind of crazy because, you know, usually women don't really go for these type of notes, you know. But this scent is so fresh and clean. I guess it's versatile. So women love it as well. And women love Byredo as well. I've sold to so many. I think I've sold to more women than men, actually. But um, this one has some... Jamaican nest berries in there, has some magnolia, has some sandalwood, has some cedarwood, has some violets. Um, this scent blossoms so beautifully. It's light, it's distinctive, but still subdued. And, you know, it kind of carries a little um, nicely, you know. So this is for that woman that wants something light, fresh and airy, but still has a little bit of woody tones in there. Um, it's a very sophisticated scent. It's straight to the point. It's complex. Um, you can't really tell that it has like Jamaican nest berries in there, magnolia, um, sandalwood, cedarwood. It's kind of just Mojave Ghost. So when someone smells this, um, they're not going to be like, oh, you smell like um, Jamaican nest berry. You smell like cedarwood. You smell like sandalwood. They're going to be like, oh, what are you wearing? You can just tell them like, oh, I smell like uh, Mojave Ghost from Byredo. I've had a lot of clients and they always say they don't like to tell people what they're wearing. But, you know, sometimes you got to share the sauce, especially if it's a scent that's going to get compliments, it's going to help people kind of get out of their shell. So, you know, fragrances helps a lot with um, being like extroverted and talking to people, you know, because it gives you a sense of confidence. So kind of share the sauce a little bit and tell them that you're wearing Mojave Ghost as a top 2023 um, scent for the year. All right. Now, my next scent, of course, is going to be Rouge 540 from MFK. Now, this scent has been popular for a minute. Um, I've sold to so many women. I've sold to men. Um, that's the thing about popular scents, especially on this list. I've sold to men as well, you know, so that shows that the scent is universal. Everyone loves it. Um, this scent right here, Rouge 540, of course, has some saffron in there, has some cedarwood, has some jasmine, has some ambergris. This scent right here, I think, is loved by so many because it is not replicated by no one. Um, I've heard that of, uh, what's her name? Ariana Grande has a scent, um, a thing called Cloud that smells similar, but it's not Rouge 540. And Rouge 540 is the original. It's like if you go and buy a Louis Vuitton bag and you say, oh, there's another bag that looks similar, but it's not Louis Vuitton, you know? So you can go get the other scent, of course, if it's in your price range, you know, you want to spend all the money on the Rouge 540, but just know that there is an original for the scent or for that style and you should always go with the original i always say if you can't get the original don't get it at all you know so root 540 is definitely a special scent smells amazing projects lasts all day long it's on the lighter side so a lot of people say sometimes they don't smell it after a while just go in a room people will compliment you people will ask you what you're wearing that's what you want you want a good fragrance that sticks to the skin it doesn't like project all day long in your nose and get you annoyed. You know, you want a scent to kind of stick to your skin, linger, and people will appreciate it as you pass by and the wind blows, you know. So Rouge 540 is my second scent for the best top scent for women for 2023. All right. Now let's go into that Parfums of Marley. You know, I love my Parfums of Marley. Um, I'm going with Delina Exclusif. The reason why I didn't pick the original Delina because I've sold 
more Delina exclusive than the original Delina. If you go into the stores, Delina exclusive is always sold out. And the reason why I think is that because it's an X straight. Now, when it comes to Parfums of Marlin, it says exclusive. That means it's an X straight. It's a little bit more potent. Um, so the original Delina has a lychee, bergamot, um, has some rhubarb in it and vanilla, right? Now, the exclusive, which sets us up, set it apart, is it has the same DNA, has a lychee, has a bergamot, has a rhubarb, but then it has an wood and oud on the face that makes it more powdery and sweet. And I think that's why more women are buying this right now. Um, this scent right here has more longevity. That's one of the most, this is one of the most potent scents that they have in the Parfums of Marley collection for women. So um, it's an amazing scent, lasts all day long dries down beautifully, carries. When my wife wears this scent, I love it on her. I always tell her to wear it when we're going out. Um, it's seductive, it's boss-like, it's amazing. Versatile, you can wear it morning or night. You can wear it in the summertime, you can wear it in the wintertime, you can wear it in the fall, spring, you're good to go. You can wear this to the beach. Um, this could be your one and done scent. Like So you buy this scent and this is your signature easily. You know, women, if I would say, pick this scent as your uh, one and done scent. It don't have to be special moments. You can wear this every day and be good to go and still get compliments. And it's light as well. So it won't be too heavy on the nose. So Delina Exclusive is my third scent for you. And last but not least, this is one of the newest scents for this year, which is Valaya from Parfums of Marley. Now, Valaya from Parfums of Marley is always sold out wherever you go. Like if you go to any store, it's going to be either one there or none there. One or none <laughs> uh, for Parfums of Marley Valaya. It has some peach in there, has a mandarin, mandarin, has a mandarin, bergamot, has some um, solar note, which is like almost like um, a sunscreen type of scent. You know, this one right here, let me just read off it. So I'm giving the right um, notes on there. It has some white peach in there as well. Like I said, has some... Akala, ag, akala wood, um, which is amazing scent as well. It's like a woody tone, um, a different type of wood, more on the lighter side, and then has some vanilla on the base. Um, I don't have probably butchered that word, but um, it's not always about the notes in there. It's about how it smells on your skin. And Valaya just smells amazing on the skin. Even though it's on the fresher tones and fresher notes and fresher side, this scent right here just carries all day long. It smells almost and has the longevity just as Delina Exclusive. I told you that Delina Exclusive is one of the most potent ones for the women, but Valaya just has that potency as well. It just lasts all day long. Like I even test this out on multiple people in my job. I sprayed them, on, sprayed them on their hand. I'm like, you know, I'll come check you later. And it's still there. Either you smell the peach, Either you smell the um, bergamot in there, either you smell the mandarin, the vanilla. It's just so complex and beautiful. And Quantan Beach, which is, which is the um, creative of this scent, he never misses. He made Flor Nakertique, which is from Ex Nihilo. I used to work there. So I know that scent is amazing. And people used to drink the bottle. That's how much it used to sell. So I think Valai is that same scent, just long lasting, beautiful, amazing. And they're going to smell amazing for 2023 and in 2024 because this is one of the newer scents, so less people have it. So Valaya for the win for the last scent and the best scent for 2023. All right. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you have any of these fragrances? What effect did it have on you? What is your best scent for 2023? You know, fragrances is very subjective is what you like as well. You know, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of insight. On what i see is popping and what a lot of people are buying you know what i'm selling to a lot of people but it's always subjective and you always could tell me what's the top 2023 cent for you as well in the comments i'll definitely appreciate it maybe i'll buy as well you know and give this video a thumbs up if i helped you and subscribe for more all right peace